Hey, this is an updated video on something we did a while ago. Uh, so me and Maxime worked together and Maxime came up with a code. The, the link in the video description takes you to his website to get the code for free, by the way. And what it's gonna allow you to do is this. We have an icon list over here. Watch what happens when I click over Facebook. We get a description pop out and a color. What if I go over YouTube, Elemental Tutorials? I mean, this is quite an ingenious way of having minimal icons and then when you hover over it, you get a description pop out and it can be whatever you want. And this is so easy and simple to do. The, the code is in the description, go away and get it. Um, so over here, we have an icon list. We currently have this set out as a, uh, a vertical, um, not vertical, horizontal, sorry. Because if you have it as a, a vertical approach, it doesn't work. It only kind of works in the uh, horizontal. So I hope that's not a problem for anyone. I've got three items here. I've got my icon and I've got my description. The description or whatever I have on there, you cannot see at the moment. And that's because if we go to advanced, we go to custom CSS, we have this code. Now, don't get me wrong, you're gonna see this and probably go, whoa, that is a heck of a lot of code. Actually, it's not. Just take the code and paste it in and away you go. It is so easy to modify this. But down here, up until this point here, we, the code above is kind of what is kind of being added into the icon list in terms of the layout and how it is set out. The next three, four, three, blah, blah, blah. the next three items that we now have define the width and the color that will be shown when you hover. And the very last box here, this is kind of now being like the color uh, of the text and items like that. Now, notice this one here. This has an um, nth child three nth child two, nth child one, therefore one, two, three. The third one has this color and it has 220 pixels width, whereas this one has a different color and 160. Look at this. When we hover over that, that is 220 pixels in terms of how wide it is and we have the color. When we go over here, we have a smaller orange box because of a color change and it's 160. And if I was to go here, and make this be say a 360 in fact, like that. Look at that, it pushes out even wider. And I would say only go as wide as you need to, to show the colors. Now, what if we want to add in a fourth item? Well, let's do that really, really quickly, okay? Let's go to content and let's just duplicate the one we had above, right? Let's go to advanced, go to custom CSS. And remember, this is dead, dead simple. Let's go over here to where we've got our nth child three, Let's copy that. Let's paste this in like that. Change the number here to now be four. And I'm actually gonna make the color of this just be uh, all black like that. And we're gonna leave it as 220 at the moment. So when I now hover over it, I mean, this is, this is super impressive, right? This is such an, I think, an amazing way to add a little bit of interactivity and creativity in where you can now display stuff and remember, we're using this for social sharing icons. You could, if you want, put in a home page, right? Like that or something, okay? And you have a URL in there in the link, which is now to your home page. But when you hover over it, it says home or shop or anything like that. So the limitations are your mind and your creativity. But go away and have fun. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right. The game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.